Hey guys, it's Buddy again. Welcome back to more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time we got an old letter from Bobbery's um, deceased wife. In this episode, we're going to deliver the letter to him. Let's go ahead and get this started. Hey, Bobbery, we come to deliver something to you. What? Oh boy, Blabberton's beard. Not you again. No matter how many times you entreat me, my stash is firm. Now away with you. Pardon? A letter you say? F for me? What? Scarlet? This is Scarlet's handwriting. Scarlet, my love. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized he's reading it. <clears throat> My love, if you're reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you are out at sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Barbary. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you are one with me. Do not lose both your life's loves. Time, like love, is a tide. You are only- you are one with the sea, as you are one with me. Uh, a thousand pardons, but may I have a moment alone, if you please? Yes, love, I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet, I love you still. Now then, you are looking for a navigator, I believe. Bound for Keel Hall Key? Oh, yeah. Ha! If you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove off. Admiral Bobbery, yes! All right, and now we have Admiral Bobbery on our side. The ship's in the harbor, hmm? I must inspect her before we leave. I shall meet you there. All right, so now it looks like Bobbery is on his way. All right, as are we. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at the um, <clears throat> the audacity thing for a second to make sure it was actually <laughs> getting my voice. All right, so now let's ride on Yoshi and get back to the. Harbor. Email. Alright. Well, let's check out this thing first and see what we got. Petuni. Hey, Mario. How are you? I'm, uh, good. No, very good. No, great! Lots of stuff has changed here. Oh, but not the elder being mad at my brother. That's still the same. I do wish you'd come back to play sometime. Are you really busy? Are you going someplace far away? Like a place nobody's ever been? Wow, that'd be fun. I'm jealous. Well, if you ever have time, come back here and play with me, okay? You have to promise. From Patuni. Aww, that's adorable. Alright, ride Yoshi, let's go. And we are gonna get started on Chapter 5. Here we are. I knew you'd get Bavari on board, you wonderful mustache man, you! To you, I must say, ahoy! I was wise to choose you as captain. Ahoy to me as well. My men have already loaded our cargo and supplies. Yes, preparations are complete. If you have no errands, we can depart at once. What shall you say? Shall we set sail? Yeah, let's shove off. Very well. To the sea, raise anchor and set sails for thrills and emotion. And romance and money. Our destination is Dread Kill Hall Key. Wait up! Wait up! And he's joining us. Sweet. Alrighty. Now, we head off on our adventure. To the sea! And off we go. Oh, X not. 
It says X not one here. Come back, dude. I repeat, X not one here. Over. Roger, reading you five by. Infiltration is successful. X not black aboard vessel. Repeat, X not black is board the is on board the vessel. So it look so it looks like the X not was reporting to um, Sir Grotus that someone on the ship is not who they seem. Anyways, chapter five, the key to pirates. All right. Here we are, off at sea. Month Star Day XO. Over the protests of my crew, the SS Flavian has set sail. This is the voyage at Reckless as they say, ah. I must scoff. Flavio will show them guts. Month Star Day XX. Another day of good wind, white clouds, they dazzle me. It is as if they are blessing our voyage. Flavio thanks them most heartily. Monstar Day X Music Note. Things are going smoothly, yet I'm filled with dread. At this speed, we should reach our destination by tomorrow's sunrise. Skull Captain casts his gaze, rain jewel shines in plays, boom bada boom festival. The Statch Brothers' best of friends, three times red, stash lands on his end. Blue Stash's belly, four times is whacked, so let's hear those fireworks go boom! At the boom bada boom festival. Yes, now we are talking. Flavio told you, did he not? Nothing to fear, no? The island is right before our eyes. Do you not see it? It, it is a mountain of treasure. Oh, ho, ho. I feel fabulous. Shall I tell you one of my many tales of raw bravery? No, it is no trouble at all. There was a locked and deadly combat with a sea serpent. Great. He started again. A tale of bravery, right? I heard this one yesterday. There's no way to escape to. We'll just have to listen till he's finished. Yeah, if he interrupts him, might as sure he absolutely loses it too. Uh, why is the... What? Wait, what's going on here? The ship's stopping. Oi, Master Flavio. Awful sorry to interrupt that wicked story. But the ship stopped. Ah, stop, you say, to me, after interrupting a story of passion and fury? Well, it is your job to keep the ship moving, yes? Hmm, so take care of it. Oi, oh, oi, oi, Flavio. I'll get on it right quick. Wait a tick. Oh, that rhymed. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Just wait again with stop many, you scallywags. Oi, quit shoving, eh? I'm working over here. I said quit shoving. Holy dooly! Ah! Yeah. What is this ruckus now? Who is here? Will someone tell me what is going on? No, they're born us the pirate ghosts! All them rumors were true! Well, uh, what do we do? We gotta get out of here! Do not panic yourselves. This is just a dream that we are all having. Awake. Now, quickly remove the boat. Oh, you ghostly ooing thing. Are you really the savage pirate king? Help me. 
Look up and now, everyone. Remain civilized. Relax. Don't panic. Relax, 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 I say. You simply must take it easy or, or what? <sighs> Excuse me. Listen, everyone. If we could form an orderly line without shoving, forget that. Make a path. Aubrey, look alive, man. Hey, we must get out of here. Abandon ship. Every rich, marvelous merchant for himself. Down goes the ship. Month star, day X star. Fortune from disaster, the kindly sea washed us ashore. What strange irony that this island was our intended destination all along, no? And yet we mourn. We have lost three crew members, including Admiral Barbary. It pains me to think that they were taken by the pirate king, that ghostly thing. What happens to us now, eh? We must lost. We may be lost without hope, stricken in the wilds. Bunt star day ex, ex heart. We have made a semblance of civilized life here. The ship's floats are washed in, and we now have salty bread and other salty things. We can live for some time on the salty bounty of the sea, but then what, I ask? Mount Star Day Egg Egg Day O O. We have built a few huts from the washed up timbers. Ah, poor sweet SS Flavian. At least the shanties keep out the wind and rain. We shall have not s we shall have no sign of Barbary and the others, and my heart she doubts. Still, despite my fears, we must continue to hope that they are alive somewhere. Monster Day OX. Three days on the island now, and the huts are all finished. We have caught the life out of here, though we all dream of a return to Rogueport. Oi! Oi, Captain Stash! It ain't much, but we finish a wee hut for you to rest in. Come have a look. Alright, will do. But before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and go this way for a little bit, actually. Nope. I was hopeful. No, we're gonna go over here for a minute because there's something I wanna get. Bonk. Whack out! Don't hit me! And we just did, and we got a whack a bump. Alright. So, whack a bumps. They heal 25 health and tw heal 25 FP. And due to how much health we have right now, that would be a lifesaver. Kitten, please help us. Flavio and Papacha are in a huge fight. And what about you, Squinty? You turned to jelly when you saw those ghosts. What are you talking about? We were the one quacking in these boots, fancy pants. Wait, wait one moment. Did, did you just call the great Fab Flavio fancy pants? It's right, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants. Why, you little cyclops, Flavio demands satisfaction, you, me, hammers, at dawn. Oh, that's right, fine by me. I can't wait to put a few dents in those fancy treads. They're here. Your cat mustache didn't go so back. Ooh, Mario, what friend Santa? This is an order. Take care of those ghosts. All right, we'll do. And uh, I'm thinking once we take care of the ghosts, we're gonna end off the episode. So next time on Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door, we will. Continue on with the story, and holy hell, I do six damage. See you guys later. Eat bananas. Whoa, we do a lot of damage now. Holy heck. Ouch. I'm burned. Oh, okay. That's a thing. Alright, let's go ahead and end this off, shall we? Alright, there goes that one. Will now be gulping down. 
We actually do six damage with our hammer now. That's really, really good. Whoa, whoa. And I am now at half health. <laughs> or in this one fight, but that's okay. Oop, 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 a chop. There we go. And we got a level up too, so I'll go ahead and do that one too. I think you guys probably know which one I'm gonna do. Level up. We're gonna do BP because we have a few badges that we need. There we go. Nice. Yes, you're a blooming base cam, Stash. Too early to celebrate, no. There are surely more of them elsewhere, huh? Someone must investigate the rest of the island, yes. That is what must be. As leader of this expedition, I of course should stay here on this. I broke no argument. Ah, yes, of course. Mario, perhaps you can handle the exploration of the island? Can do. That is, my boy. I knew you would go forth with boldness. We count upon you. Alright. Alright, well, see you guys later. Eat bananas.